Good morning, everybody. Lou Depot back here again. And I'm just going to give you a quick tip on soldering because a lot of people fail at soldering. They have the torch on the copper pipe and they wind up doing it for a half hour, hour, two hours. Sometimes half a day goes by and they just can't get it hot enough and they don't know what they're doing wrong. And I'm going to show you, first of all, let me just show you a simple little vacuum which happens in all plumbing pipes in, in the house when you start to solder and you shut off your water main. Kids do this with their soda all the time at McDonald's. You see that? That's water running down very slowly, and it keeps happening. This is a short pipe, but if you were to do it with a very long pipe, it, it would be more. And it's a simple... No, this isn't even holding as good, but it keeps dripping. And if you don't open every faucet in the house, you're never going to solder, because those faucets are airtight, and they lock up the air behind the water. And if air can't get in, water can't drip down fully. And it slowly dribbles down and keeps you from soldering. If there's water in a copper pipe, I don't care if it's a few drops, you're not soldering. You can't get it hot enough. If you get lucky enough to get it hot enough where the solder melts, it's going to turn to steam the water and shoot out the loose solder hole anyway, and you're going to have a leak. So once you shut the water main, this is my famous drawing of my house. Of course, everyone knows I'm not an artist. That's why I'm a plumber. But anyway, normally you'll be soldering anywhere in the house. But before you do it, you're going to shut the water main off. And you're going to go to the highest point in the house. And you're going to open up the faucet to the tub. Hot and cold. Make sure both hot and cold are open. Especially if it's a single lever. Make sure it's in the middle somewhere. You're also going to open up the hot and cold to the sink. You're also going to flush the bowl. You're going to do that in every bathroom and kitchen in the house. Then you're going to go outside and you're going to open up the outside hose bib. After you open up the outside hose bib, you're going to go into the basement of the first floor and turn the washing machine on like you're trying to do the wash. And you're going to put it on warm so hot and cold can run out of those valves. Anything that has water on it has to be open. If you were to turn it on and get water out when the water mains on... It needs to be open so air can get in and it can drain. Only once you've drained down the whole house can you even begin to solder. Okay? Those people that fail usually shut the water main, cut a pipe and try to solder. All those water lines upstairs are filled with water and they're slowly dripping down on there, keeping the pipe cool. And you're never, ever, ever going to solder. All right? So that's your tip on soldering. You do that, you'll solder in five minutes every time.